Hello, I'm Akhilesh Kumar Shavasko. In the uh, series of the linked list programming, we have discussed about how to find the loop in the linked list using the fast and the slow pointers. In today's lecture, we will discuss about how to find the length of the loop in the linked list. So I hope uh, before coming to this lecture, you already have seen my previous lecture on how to find the loops in the linked list. Let's start the lecture. Suppose we have a linked list like Suppose we have a linked list like this, wherein the next address field of six is containing the address of P. So this is actually a case where the loop is existing in the linked list. And my earlier algorithm for finding out the loop in the linked list will return true. In case you have to find out what is the length of the loop. So obviously the loop starts from three and after it finishes at six and it then again takes the address of three. So the length of the loop is one, two, three, and four. So if you have to find out the length of this loop, then the slow and the fast pointer will be used again. So before using that, let's look at, uh, let's have a recap of what we discussed about how to find the loops in the linked list. For finding so, we take a turtle pointer at the first node and a rabbit pointer at the second node. Then we keep increasing turtle and the rabbit. We increase the turtle pointer or we uh, progress the uh, turtle pointer to one node at, at a time and the rabbit pointer to two nodes at a time. It means when turtle is at one, it will move to two and the rabbit will move to four from two. So it is taking two steps. Now the turtle moves to node number three and the rabbit moves to node number six. The turtle moves to node number four and the rabbit moves from six to three and then three to four. So in this case, the turtle and the rabbit are pointing to the same location. It means there is a loop in this linked list. So if the turtle and the rabbits are coinciding, it means that there is a loop. So once we have found the loop, our next task starts. So the next task is that we have to find out what is the length of the loop. So you can do it very simply. You just stop the rabbit pointer wherever it is. You rest, you take the rest to the rabbit pointer. You take a counter and initialize this counter by one. And you move this turtle pointer. You again give the increment to the counter and increment this turtle pointer or progress this turtle pointer by one. You again give an increment to the counter and progress this turtle pointer to point to node number three. And then you again increment the counter and progress this turtle pointer to point to the next node. This is the second time when the turtle and the rabbits are coinciding. And whenever they will coincide, I will stop my process there itself and will say that the length of the loop is four. So it is a very simple process wherein wherever the turtle and the rabbit have met in the loop, after that, you just take the rest to you allow the uh, rabbit pointer to rest for some time and then move the turtle pointer with a counter. So whenever the turtle will meet again with the rabbit, that will be our stopping position or the terminating condition and whatever will be the value of the counter that will be our answer. Now let's write the algorithm for finding out uh, the loop again. So let's say t is equals to start. It means t will be pointing to the first node. The rabbit will be pointing to the next node. So either t dot next or a start dot next, both are same. So I am doing this operation. I'm assuming that the uh, loop exists in this linked list. So if the loop exists in this linked list, then t will become r sometime. t will become equal to r sometime. 
So if t is not equal to r, you move t one step ahead, t is equal to t dot next, and you move r to two steps. So in one go, it goes to the next node, and in one go, it again goes to the next node. So it takes two steps actually. So when the t and the r will become equal, the loop will terminate. So once the loop will terminate, I will take a counter, will initialize that counter to one, and will apply a do while loop wherein I will update the t point, uh, update the counter by one, and then I move the t pointer by one step by keeping the rabbit pointer same as wherever they are. And when this loop will finish, it should be finishing at a condition that t is equals to r. It means if t is not equal to r, we will do it again. We will increment the counter and we will progress this t to point to the next node. So by the time t is not equal to r, my loop will be running. And once the loop finishes, then whatever is the value of the c that is our answer. So I'll say return c that is the length of the loop. Fine. So now let's code this at the code box. So here is a code there wherein uh, we have uh, we have already created a loop uh, or uh, we have created a linked list that contains the loop. So this is the linked list wherein the first node is one, and the second node is two, third node is three, and so on and so forth. The last node is eight, and uh, we have searched the node containing the information four, and. Uh, Pointer P is containing the address of the node containing four. And then we have created another, or we have actually searched for another node, which is containing the information eight. So Q is a node that contains the information eight. And then when we have the address of the node eight and node four, we have uh, taken the pointer Q, which is taking the address of the node number eight. And the next field of this node points to the information or a node containing information four. So this is the loop, uh, or this is the, the link list that contains the loop. And uh, when we run this program, we'll be able to find out if there is a loop in the link list or not. Now we are going to change, or we have we are going to allow a change in this link list that will actually find out uh, what is the length of the loop. So what we are going to do, uh, let's uh, start with this code and uh, the T is containing the address of the first node and R is containing the address of the second node. And then we are going to find out the node in the link list or uh, loop in the link list. So while R does not become equal to T, our process will continue and T goes to one step and R goes to two steps ahead. So once this loop finishes, we will have the uh, we will have uh, an information that yes, the, the yes, there is a loop in the linked list. After this, we will be doing the counting operation. So, for doing the counting, let's take counter C or let's say a counter count and which has been initialized to one. We will allow the uh, rabbit to rest for a moment and we'll be incrementing the count. Count equals to count plus one, and we'll be moving the t pointer. So t is equals to t dot next. So when this loop will finish, uh, so while t is not equal to r, we'll be doing so. And uh, once this loop finishes, we will have the counter. So we will return this counter. And in the main, we are going to accept this count here. So let's say the L is the count of the nodes. We just have to print the count of the nodes. So print F, the count of the nodes is percentile D and L. 
So I think that uh, there is one uh, extra count here. So we should actually initialize this uh, counter value to zero in fact. And it is obvious also that if the counter is started with zero, then only it will be counting the number of the nodes. It is going to come back to the same value. So let's run this again. Yes, the count of the nodes in the loop is five. So this way you can do the programming of how to find the counting of the nodes in the given loop in the linked list. Thank you for watching this video. We'll come again with some new concept related to the linked list.